Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM ActiveOS. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to change password for ActiveOS. First thing we need to know what is the need of changing password. Sometimes as a business policy, we need to change the password after certain frequency, maybe after three months or after six months or at least once in a year. So you need to change the password for the ActiveOS user as well or ActiveOS schema as well. Like as ActiveOS is a database schema and it is similar kind it is another kind of schema like CMX ORS is also a schema. So there is a certain policy we need to follow. But the procedure for changing password for normal ORS or normal CMX schema is different than changing password for ActiveOS schema. So that is the reason I thought I should create a video and tell you what are the steps involved in changing password for ActiveOS. So let's start today's session. Whenever you want to change a password for ActiveOS schema, the very first step is stop all the ER applications which are running in your application server for example if you install ActiveOS in your MDM then there will be two ERs will be get created for ActiveOS and those will be deployed as a part of ActiveOS installation for example if you are running the JBoss as application server or WebLogic as application server or WebSphere as application server these two ER files you are going to see under deployment section. So you have to go to that deployment section on your application server where MDM and ActiveOS ER files are installed. We have to just stop the ActiveOS ER files and not other ER files. So make sure you are stopping those files or uh, ER applications correctly. Once this step is completed successfully, the next step is changing the actual password so in order to change the password of course we need to go to the database and we have to change the password for ActiveOS schema so this is the important step so make sure you know the uh, password which are you are going to change that is we need to update some, somewhere else also so make a note of password which are changed in the database that is the second step the third step is update application server so what we need to update as I said in the previous state whenever we change the password in the database we have to make a note of that password so we have to use the same password and update in the application server so what is the exact location where we need to update so the location is we have to go to the in the, this is the example of JBoss application server. So in JBoss application server, we have to go to the resources, JDBC provider, Oracle JDBC driver XA, data sources, and there will be ActiveOS data source. So we have to go to the ActiveOS data source in this section. There you will find the change password section where you can provide the latest password. So the, these are the two locations where we have to make update. First is database and second is application server make sure the both the password in the database as well as in the application server are exactly same the fourth step will be the testing connection so we we updated the password in the database we updated the password in application server but we need to verify whether though both these passwords are correct and application server is able to connect to database so in order to test that we have to go to the data source what ActiveOS data source in the application server and there will be test tab or test button you have to just click that test connection button and it will give us a result successful only if the application server is able to connect to the ActiveOS schema with the latest password if there is an error so there will be two issues one is either the data source created is not correct or is not able to connect to database or the second reason the password is wrong so if the password is mismatched 
between the database uh, whenever you update in the database that is not matching with the whatever you update in the application server so make sure you have the correct password updated in the application server that is the test connection step fifth step is as we said in the very first step we have stopped the er files now we have updated the er uh, password now the next step is starting the er file so we have to start both activos er files in the application server so you have to go to the application section of application server and there you will find the various applications running so select the activos er applications and click on the start button and start the application once it is successfully started both the activos er files the next thing we have to do is we have to run config underscore deploy if you are using unix then you will see the config underscore deploy dot sh if you are running in the windows system you will see config underscore deploy dot bat so this file we need to execute so where this file present this file present in activos installation directory there will be server folder inside server folder there will be server enterprise folder inside server enterprise folder there will be jboss config if it is jboss application server and inside that we will have the bin directory in that bin directory you will find the config underscore deploy dot bat or config underscore deploy dot sh we have to just execute that file whenever we start executing one pop-up will come so make sure in that pop-up install database schema is disabled if it is enabled then <coughs> the existing data will be wiped out in your Activos schema so make sure this option is disabled all other options which will be coming in that screen you have to no need to change keep default values so where this file present so I will show you the location of the file deploy config so in order to uh, go that so you have to go to the MDM installation directory where Activos is installed then go to the server then go to the server enterprise and inside server enterprise you will see the jboss config inside jboss config you will see the bin directory and inside bin directory you can see the two files config underscore bad dot uh, config underscore deploy dot bad and config underscore deploy dot sh dot sh for unix dot bad for windows if you want to see what this file actually contains so it's, it's contain nothing it's so just a java call to the config dot jar so it is actually executable jar file which will able to which we are going to execute and it will give us a multiple options during this execution so these are the steps involved while changing password for Activo schema so after this is done successfully your password will be changed for Activo schema so make sure you are following all the steps correctly so that the password may be correctly propagated at metadata level I hope this tutorial is going to help you to change the password for Activo schema if you like this video do not forget to subscribe my channel if you have any questions or queries you can mention comment section of this video. Thank you again and have a nice time.